There's a couple steps to downloading and printing and binding a copy of the Herb Fairies book for yourself. Um, this one is a sewn edge. You see the threads here. So to start, what we want to do is we want to download a copy of the book. And if we have a fancy printer that will print on both sides, what we could do is we could tell that printer to print in duplex mode a booklet. So instead of having one piece of paper for every page of the book, we want two pages of the book on one piece of paper. And then as we work through the book, this booklet mode will sort the pages out for us automatically so that when we print it in front and back, the pages are correct when we fold it and then bind it. If we don't have a fancy printer with this booklet mode, it's not a problem. We can go online and find another tool that will do it for us. Um, a quick search, we'll find a, a tool called Bookbinder from quantumelephant.co.uk. It's a little Java application that you download and run. And when you run it, it looks something like this. You open up the book that you want and it will load it and what we want to do is we want to tell it what size paper we want so we'll want letter size paper probably if you have a duplex printing a duplex printer you can tell it to print in duplex mode otherwise you do it in single sided mode and that will create two different files that make it easier for you to print we can say instead of standard signatures we want a booklet mode and then when we click generate document what it does is it will generate two files. When we open the files up, the first file looks like this. It has a blank back page, the front cover, and then it'll have the second last page, page one, then it'll have page 42, page three, page 40, page five. Basically all your odd pages going to, towards the back of the book and then the even pages coming once you get to the halfway point. Um, that way you can just print this out once and then you can turn all your paper over and print it a second time um, using the second PDF file. And what that does for you is that sorts out all the pages so when you look at a single sheet of paper, the paging is right. So when it's done and you sew it together, it is... All one nice, easy to use book. To make one of these books, take the printed pages and we fold them. We want to fold them so that the number 19. 20 adjacent and then 25, 26 go together. So the pages are adjacent, growing as you fold them. And you give it a fold and a nice sharp crease. Add it to your book. And then the last page should be 21, 22, 23, 24. They're going up in order. They're a nice sharply folded booklet. Give it a flip through, make sure the pages are all about in the right order. You didn't fold one backwards. It's easy to do. And then we want to the holes the book is from cut edge to cut edge when we cut it it's going to be a total of seven inches long I like doing it an inch in an inch in and then halfway in between which is gonna be three and a half inches
get the holes punched. Next, you want to sew it. Just use some thread. I make my thread about two lengths of the book long. And uh, start with the center hole. Go down through the center hole. And then back up through one of the other holes. Sometimes it gets a little bit difficult to see. We'll do that one instead. Come back up. Leave a little bit of the thread loose. Go back down through. Pull it tight. There we go. Come back up. And then pull it all tight and tie it off. Next we want to cut it. For that I use a rotary cutter and a straight edge. Get it nicely lined up. So now the edges of the books all, all lined up. We want to cut these two sides too. There we have one herb race booklet.